one of the places beings should meet and it doesn't have to be a crowd it can be two or three that know what's going on and know the magic or build your own build your own uh remedy h has been showing that building your own um lamel the messiah code has been showing building your own uh it's florida table and chairs It's Florida table and chairs. And looking at these chairs and all the other carvings, notice the absence of chief marks. The only place that you will see chisel marks are on some of the outer walls. You will notice the coral doesn't appear to have been carved, but appears to be in its natural state. Someone was uh, mentioned coral the other day. They know who they are. Uh, they weigh approximately 1,000 pounds and are rocking chairs. Ed said his Florida table with Lake Okeechobee as a finger bowl. Oh, I used to love to go to Lake Okeechobee. I used to be so excited when my father would, on the, some weekends would go. we go going to Lake Okeechobee. Whew. Uh, it's mounds out there. It's, it's so much out there. But the fishing was, you know... The main reason for our early morning journeys, leaving the house at 4 o'clock, maybe sometimes 2 o'clock in the morning to go fishing in Lake Okeechobee. With Lake Okeechobee as a finger bowl is the ideal place for the governor and representatives to sit and figure out how to raise taxes. They use these. They are still using them and we have access to it and we don't use it. And we are more connected to the elements. Or some of you are more connected to the elements. I can't say that I am. That's being honest. Based on my blood work. <laughs> the 11 surrounding coral rock chairs are all rocking chairs. Polaris Telescope. The Florida Table and Rocking Chairs. And I'm looking at figure 45. The north wall contains over 150 tons of rock. There you will find the Polaris Telescope, which is perfectly focused on the North Star. It stands 25 feet high and weighs about, or weighs almost 30 tons. Carved on the telescope is 1940. Now, I was going through my one of the almanacs that I have that is from 1843, and then it skips to 1943 not saying the hundred year difference because it ends in 1890 I want to say seven or I want to say seven but there's this gap and a lot of us our ancestors that we have had contact with or know that our parents have had contact with are there's that gap in between like a lot of us don't know anybody that came and transitioned in between those dates and times personally so there's this gap so on this telescope it says 1940 the year it was completed Ed studied and recorded the path the earth travels by means of his telescope he used this data to build his sundial do you have a sundial have you created your own sundial? I'm not saying that I have. I'm just, you know, it's just a question. Sundial. Ed created his sundial to record the hours between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. And our hours differ if you want to go by their hours, their horse. Um... And the open and gateway is between the 23rd and the 24th. 
hour. So where you start your hour or begin your hour and proceed your hour at say 11 a.m. you would still be in that 23rd hour depending on where you decided to start so his record is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. the hours he believed a man should work using Ed's sundial it was possible to tell time within one or two minutes a short inch or the width of a man's thumb is equal to the five equal to five minutes time indicated is always standard time this is information on how we got trapped in time in order to know how to untrap time you have to know uh the portals or the history and and the information that they're giving us telling us the truth in our face and how once you 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 know how they accomplished it and you learn the engineering of it you adjust it to you crescent moon and planets for those who worship the moon and portals crescent moon and planets located within the east wall of the 20 foot tall crescent of the east which weighs over 23 tons and was moved I could read on this because I been there I've been to the Coral Castle. 